بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیسن الیون الیونتھ درس الحادی اشرا سو ہیئر وی ول اونلی لرن ٹو نیو ورڈس نتھنگ ایلس ان دس لیسن دس از فار ریویژن اونلی سو دا نیو ورڈز آر اوہبو اینڈ فی ہی اینڈ فی ہا سو فی ہا مینس ان اٹ فی ہا مین ان اٹ But it is for feminine. Fihi for masculine and fiha for feminine. No other thing here. You just need to read it for a moment. Then the next word is ohibbu mean I love, I like. So ohibbu is a verb. Ohibbu is a fail. So this means the next word will be mofol bihi. It will be object of the sentence. And as you know that object of a verb is mansub maful bihi of a verb is mansub so it will take a fata ending but in case of possessive pronouns as you know before when we add a possessive pronoun to maful bihi then it does not take a fata ending so you see ab um akh ukht all of these are maful bihi but still they don't have any fata ending because they have a possessive pronoun ya but when we don't have any possessive pronoun then the maful bihi of the verb uhibbu will take fata so you see uhibbu allah allah has fata rasul has fata rasul has fata loga has fata these are maful bihi Similarly to Hibbu, you love again, same thing. The Maful Bihi will have Fata. A to Hibbu Laha. A to Hibbu Loga Ta. You see Ta has Fata. That is because it is Maful Bihi. Man to Hibbu. Here we don't have any Maful. Maza to Hibbu. But in their answers, there will be a Maful Bihi. So you just need to read it, this point. And if you don't understand anything, feel free to ask me on WhatsApp or in comments. Adar Sulha Diya Shara 11th lesson Baiti My House Haza Baiti This is my house. Baiti Amam Al Masjid My house is in front of the mosque. Baiti Jameel My house is beautiful. Fihi Hadikatun Sagheera In it, there is a small garden. Hazihi Urfati. This is my room. Fiha Nafizatun Kabiratun Wamirwahatun Jamila. In it, there is a big window and a beautiful fan. Haza Sariri. This is my bed. Wahaza Kursi. And this is my chair. Wahaza maktabi and this is my table. Saati my watch. Wakalami and my pen. Wakitabi and my book. Alal maktab on the table. Saati wakalami wakitabi alal maktab. My watch and my pen and my book are on the table. Wakibati and my bag. Tahta under. المکتب دا ٹیبل واقعی بتی تحت المکتب and my bag is under the table نافذتو غرفتی window of my room مفتوحا open نافذتو غرفتی مفتوحا window of my room is open حاضی this is غرفتو اخی room of my brother Hazihi Urfatu Akhi, this is the room of my brother. Watilka and that Urfatu room of Ukhti, my sister. Watilka Urfatu Ukhti, and that is the room of my sister. Urfatu Akhi, room of my brother. Kabira Big. Urfatu Ukhti. And the room of my sister, Sagheela Samal. Ulfatu Akhi Kabeela wa Ulfatu Ukhti Sagheela. 
the room of my brother is big and the room of my sister is small hurfatu akhi the room of my brother amama in front of hurfati my room hurfatu akhi amama hurfati room of my brother is in front of my room wa hurfatu ukhti amama al matbakh and the room of my sister in front of the kitchen li akhun i have a brother li akhun wahidun i have one brother ismuhu his name usama usama li akhun wahidu nismahu listen carefully wahidu nismahu usama i have one brother his name is usama wali ukhtum wahida ukhtum wahida merging the sounds here and i have one sister her name is ismuha her name suad wali ukhtum wahida tu nismuha wahida tu nismuha suad and i have one sister her name is swad abi wa ummi fi tilka al ghurfat al kabira my father and my mother fi in tilka dad al ghurfat al kabira big room abi wa ummi fi tilka al ghurfat al kabira my father and my mother are in dad big room ana i uhibbu love abi my father wa ummi and my mother anna uhibbu abi wa ummi i love my father and my mother wa uhibbu and i love akhi wa ukhti my brother and my sister tamarin exercises ikra waqtu read and write man fil hazal bait who is in this house fihi hamid in it is hamid so bait is masculine so we are saying fihi maza fil haqiqa what is in the bag fiha kitabi wa qalami wa daftari in it is my book and my pen and my notebook so haqiqa is feminine we are saying fiha man fi sayyara who is in the car fiha abi wa ummi wa akhi wa ukhti in it is my father and my mother and my brother and my sister man fi masjid al jamiat al an who is in the mosque of the university now ma fihi ahad nobody in it so masjid is masculine we are using fihi man fi hazihi al ghurfa who is in this room fiha al mudir in it is the headmaster ghurfa is feminine so we are saying fiha then we have ikra read uhibbu abi wa ummi i love my father and my mother uhibbu is feel ab and um har maful bihi uhibbu akhi wa ukhti i love my brother and my sister again uhibbu fil ukh akhi an ukhti ma maful bihi uhibbu khali wa ammi i love my maternal uncle and paternal uncle uhibbu ustazi i love my teacher her ustaz is maful bihi uhibbu allah i love allah uhibbu an-nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam i love the prophet peace be upon him uhibbu al-lughata al-arabiyya i love the arabic language lesson 12 <coughs> so previously you learned that anta mean you and it is for masculine nouns only now you will learn anti anti is for feminine only so you can just read this for one moment and you also studied that the possessive pronoun of anta is 
ka and now you will learn that possessive pronoun of anti is ki nothing else here next you know that zahaba mean he went zahab to i went zahabta you went zahabat she went you just need to memorize their meaning and just read it for once nothing else and one more thing zahabat has sukoon zahabat maryam ilal madrasa we are reading sukoon here but when the noun after zahabat has alif lam we read kasra so here again we have zahabat but because of alif lam we are reading kasra zahabatil bint so remember whenever we have sukoon with alif lam we read kasra instead of sukoon next allazi min hu which this is for masculine and allati has same meaning but it is for feminine you just need to read these examples you can pause the video and read it now if i say to you kitabuka your book and if i say how the kitabuka this is your book this is a complete sentence but the question is why we are using is using an extra anta here why because to put emphasis let's suppose sometime we are doubtful about anything in that case we use an extra pronoun to put emphasis let's suppose we hear the pen you think this pen belongs to you and i think this pen belongs to me now in this case i will say haza kalami ana this is my pen i am putting emphasis only to tell you that this is my pen but if again let's suppose we have a pen here you know that this is my pen and i also know that this is my pen we both agree there is no difference of opinion so then i will just say haza kalami there is no need of extra ana but when we, there is some doubt then we add an extra ana also so that's why we are using extra pronoun here then you have this vocabulary you better memorize this vocabulary pause the video read it carefully and memorize it as well then write it on your notebook without look, taking help from anything adarsu saniya shara 12th lesson suad assalamu alaiki wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh peace be upon you peace and mercy and blessings of allah be upon you so swa bint is girl so we are saying ki but you can say kum also to give her some respect both are okay wa alaiki salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and peace and mercy and blessings of allah be upon you too so again you can to a female you can say ki and you can use kum to show some respect but both are okay kaifa haluk ya bint how are you oh girl ana bi khairin walhamdulillah i am fine and all praise belongs to allah or oh, thanks to allah min aina ant where are you from ana min riyad i am from riyad masmuk what is your name ismi amina my name is amina aina abuk where is your father abi huna fil madinatil munawwara my father is here in madinatul munawwara huwa muwajjihun fil madrasati sanawiya he is an inspector in the secondary school there is another word in english for muwajji yeah i think instructor is okay who a muwajji hun he is an instructor in secondary school waina ummuk and where is your mother he ya aidan huna she is also here he ya tabibatun fi mustashfa al wilada she is a doctor in the paternity hospital wa man hazihi al fatatu allati maak and who is this young girl who is with you ahiya ukhtuk is she your sister 
لا هي بنت امي نو شي از دا ڈاٹر آف مائی انکل مسموہا وٹ از ہر نیم اسموہا فاطمہ ہر نیم از فاطمہ آہی یا زمیل تک از شی یور کولک لا انا فی المدرست المتوسط وہی فی المدرست الثانویہ نو آئی ایم ان دا مڈل اسکول اینڈ شی از ان دا سیکنڈری اسکول آلا کی اخت ڈو یو ہیو اے سسٹر لا مالی اخت آئی ڈونٹ ہیو اے سسٹر آلا کی اخ ڈو یو ہیو اے برادر نام لی اخن کبیر و ہوا طالب بل جامعہ یس آئی ہیو این ایلڈر برادر اینڈ ہی از اے اسٹوڈنٹ ان دا یونیورسٹی و من حاضت طفل الزی ماک اینڈ ہو از دس چائلڈ ہو از ود یو ہو وب نو اخی ہی از دا سن آف مائی برادر مسم وٹ از ہز نیم اسم ہو ساد ہز نیم از ساد آ ام کی فل بئی تل آن از یور مادر ایٹ ہوم ناؤ لا زہبت المستشفا نو شی وینٹ to the hospital the marine exercises ikra waktub read and write kaifa haluk ya abi how are you o oh my father kaifa haluki ya ummi how are you o oh my mother ai nabnuki ya zainab where is your son o oh zainab zahaba ila al masjid He went to the mosque. Ay nab, ay na, ay na bintu ki, ya amina. Where is your daughter, o amina? Zahabat ilal madrasa. She went to the school. Liman hazi his saatul jamila. To whom belong this beautiful watch? آہی یا لکی یا فاطمہ ڈز اٹ بلونگس ٹو یو او فاطمہ نام یس ہی یا اٹ لی بلونگس ٹو می یس اٹ بلونگس ٹو می آہازا کلم کا یا محمد از دس یور پین او محمد لا ہازا کلم کا انت نو دس از یورس پین تلکس سیارۃ الجمیلۃ التی خرجت العنا من المدرسۃ للمدیر ڈیٹ بیوٹیفل کار وچ وینٹ آؤٹ رائٹ ناؤ فرام دا اسکول بلونگس ٹو دا ہیڈ ماسٹر آ انتا مہندس یاخی آر یو این انجینئر او مائی برادر لا نو انا طبیب آئی ایم اے ڈاکٹر آ انتی تو بی با یا اختی آر یو اے ڈاکٹر او مائی سسٹر لا انا مدرسا نو آئی ایم اے ٹیچر ہاؤ مچ از لیفٹ فرام دس چیپٹر وی کین کمپلیٹ ٹو ڈے ان شاء اللہ اکرا کل جملہ ریڈ ایچ سینٹینس من الجمل العطیہ فرام دا فالوئنگ سینٹینسز سم مک را مارتن اخرا دین ریڈ دیم ونس اگین با دا آفٹر دا غیر المنادا آفٹر چینجنگ دا منادا مین دا ون ہو از کالڈ کما ہوا مودا ہن فی المثال لائک اٹ از ایکسپلینڈ اور کلیئرڈ ان دا ایگزامپل سو ہیئر we are going to convert this vocative noun into feminine noun this uh, masculine vocative noun into feminine vocative noun aina kalamuka ya be where is your pen oh my father aina kalamuki ya ummi where is your pen oh my mother a indaka kalamun ya muhammad do you have a pen oh muhammad a indaki kalamun ya amina Do you have a pen, O oh, Amina? Aina baitaka. Aina baituka. 
भई तू का विकास इन मुसाफाई ना भई तू का या उस्तादी वेर इज योर हाउस ऑफ माय सर आइना भई तू की या उस्तादी वेर इज योर हाउस ऑफ माय टीचर आहा जद दफ्त आहा जद जॉइन जाल विद दाल आहा जद दफ्तरु लका या अली डज दिस नोटबुक बिलोंग्स टू यू ओ अली आहा जद दफ्तरु लकी या फातिमा डज दिस नोटबुक बिलोंग्स टू यू ओ फातिमा मिन आइन अंता या अखी वेर आर यू फ्रॉम ओ माय ब्रदर मिन आइन अंती या अख्ती वेर आर यू फ्रॉम ओ माय सिस्टर आइन अबू का या खालिद वेर इज योर फादर ओ खालिद आइन अबू की या खतीजा वेर इज योर फादर ओ खतीजा In this way, you will do all of them. Unnisil faila make the doer feminine. Fi kulli min al jamali latiya in each of the following sentences. You need to make the subject feminine. Kharaja Muhammadun Muhammadum min al bait. Muhammad went out from the house. Kharajat Amina min al bait. Amina went out from the house. So you need to make them feminine. ذهب المدرس إلى الفصل. The teacher went to the class. ذهب تل مدرسة تو إلى الفصل. So here مدرسة تو has alif lam. That's why I am reading كسرة instead of سكون. ذهب تل. ذهب أبي إلى المستشفى. My father went to the hospital. ذهب أمي إلى المستشفى. My mother went to the hospital. So remember, whenever we have sukoon with alif lam, we read kasra. So instead of saying jalasat at taliba tu, we will say jalasat tit taliba. No sukoon. Sukoon is not read when we have alif lam. Ikrail Jumal Alatiya read the following sentences. So Allah is for masculine and Allah is for feminine. Nothing else. Man al fatal lazi kharaja min baiti kal ana. Who wabnu ami? Who is the young man who went out from your house right now? He is the son of my uncle. Manil fata tulati kharajat min baiti kal ana ya Muhammad. Who is the young girl who went out from your house right now, O Muhammad? He ya bin tu khalati. She is the daughter of my maternal auntie. Li manil mifta hulazi alal maktab. To whom belongs the key which is on the table? Who will lead Mudaris? It belongs to the teacher. Limanis saatul lati ala sarir. To whom belongs the watch which is on the bed? He yali zauji ukti. It belongs to the husband of my sister. Akmil al jamal al atiya biwadi ismin mausulin munasibil allazi allati fil fara. Complete the following sentences by putting isme mosul in by putting appropriate isme mosul in the blank. These two words allazi and allati are known as isme mosul. So for masculine allazi, for feminine allati. Al kitab allazi al al maktabi lil mudaris. The book which is on the table belongs to the teacher. Al kalam allazi fi hakibati maksur. The pen which is on in my bag is broken. Asayara tulati kharajat min al mustashfa lana litta bi bil jadid. The car which went out from the hospital right now belongs to the new doctor. Al kalbul lazi fil hadi kati marid. The dog which is in the garden is sick. Al fatal lati kharaja min al masjid la nabnu muazin. The sorry, Al Fatal Lazi, Al Fatal Lazi, the young man who went out from the mosque right now is the son of the Muazin. Muazin means the man who says the call to prayer in the mosque. Al Kalimatul Jadida, you write their meanings here in English. Next, we have lesson 13. Inshallah, we'll do it next time for the homework. I think last time you submitted your homework in homework number six. So I recommend you to submit it again in the homework number six. So.
ignore whatever is written here and probably you have already submitted your homework here so here you will see an option of resubmitting you will you can use that or you can submit homework to any number number does not matter okay so main thing we receive the homework and we will check it inshallah and we will correct your mistakes all the exercises of the books are your homework so even if we don't tell you any exercise you need to do it so if you have any question feel free to ask me on whatsapp or in the comments see you next time ma salama